Yes? What is it? Sorry, sir. I thought somebody said something. You haven't noticed anything odd? Well, not exactly odd. Uh, unusual about Matthew lately. Was he listening to nothing or talking to himself? Yes, talking. Well, both, really. Yes, he does seem to have changed quite suddenly this last week or so. Colin? Yes? Do you know anybody who can hear somebody talking? Kind of inside himself. Perhaps this Chucky is who he's been talking to. Yes. He does seem convinced there's somebody there. But who or what on earth is Chucky? I'm back. I'm in here. Had a good day? All right. But? Matthew. I thought his temperature was down this morning. Yes. Well, physically, he's okay. Oh, Chucky's still staying, is he? I don't think it's funny. He thanked me. Oh? For telling Chucky to go away last night. Did he now? Said so she wouldn't listen to him. I think it's very odd. I really don't know what to make of it. I've never heard of a 12-year-old inventor get character like this. Well, he doesn't seem to think that it is invented. What does he think it is, then? Well, I'm not sure, really. He treats it all as though it's absolutely real, and yet... Well, he doesn't seem to be able to make up his mind whether or not it's a he or a she. Now, that is odd. Oh, I don't suppose it'll do him any harm to let him have his bit of fantasy. Yes, but what do we do? Oh, why don't we just give it a bit of time, play along with it for a bit and see how it goes? Well, that doesn't sound very right to me. No? If we go around pretending to believe in things that aren't really there, how on earth is a child supposed to distinguish what's real? Depends on how many people believe it. Isn't that what most of the world's religions are about? You're no help at all. Anyway, I better go and say hello to him. Otherwise, you'll start thinking there is something wrong. Oh, take Polly's toys up with you! Hi. Hello, Dad. Feeling better? Yes, thanks. What have you been doing with yourself all day? Not much. Tried to do a bit of drawing. I couldn't get it right. I think Leonardo can rest easy. <laughs> Colin came round, but Mummy said she didn't think he ought to come up, in case I was catching. Quite right. And Chucky hasn't come back yet. Chucky, yes. This isn't another piff, is it? No! No, Dad! Everybody knows Piff's just suddenly Polly's invented. Chucky's real. But invisible. Yes. She's more a sort of... Well, a sort of presence, I suppose you'd say. Ah. Dad, you don't think I'm going mad, do you? Yeah, bonkers. Whatever gave you that idea? Well, Colin says hearing voices is a well-known first sign of madness. And is that what Chucky's like, a, a voice that you hear? Yes. Telling you to do things? No. More asking questions. She wants to know about us. The way we live and think. Everything about our world. Really, because it's so different from her own. Her own world? You mean she's from somewhere else? Yes. I can't understand exactly where, but I know it's a long, long way away. I see. So all these strange questions you've been asking lately... Now for Jockey, that's right. Well, at least we've got that sorted out. I'll tell you something that is bothering me, though. What? You don't seem very sure whether Chucky's a he or a she. No. Jockey doesn't know either. Oh. Isn't that a bit, uh, unusual? Well, yes. I thought so. She just doesn't know about that sort of thing. I had to explain all the differences between men and women. Team then she couldn't seem to grasp it. He, she sounds a bit thick. Oh no. She's fantastically brilliant. She just didn't know about men and female. <laughs> she thought it was a pretty stupid arrangement. Did she indeed? Yeah. She finds a lot of things stupid. It gets a bit boring sometimes listening to him. What sort of things? Well, 
Animals, for instance. He thinks animals are hilarious. Why? Because it's a dim. Told him that's not their fault. That's where they're made. Quite right. He's got... Listen, we'd better decide on one or the other. He or she. Yeah. Chucky does talk rather like a boy. But a lot of the time it's not about the sort of things boys talk about. Sometimes it's the way older girls talk. A bit bossy, you know. Yeah, so? Altogether, when I really think about it, Chucky seems more female than male. So I think I'll call her she. Good. Well, at least that's something. Yeah. I wonder if we ought to get some help. Why? It doesn't seem to be doing him any harm. Well, I don't want to find that we've been helping to stabilise a fantasy that we ought to have been trying to dispel. Oh, I'm sure we're not. And at least we've made one advance. Oh? We've agreed to regard Chucky as a she. Really? You're getting as bad as Matthew. Oh, come on, we haven't got round to the really big question yet. What's that? If Chucky is real, why has you chosen Matthew? Your homework was terrible. We'll go through it all again, right? And pay attention. What are these? Roger. Male and female gametes, Miss Blaine. Good. At least we've got that settled. Now, why is the female gamete always larger than the male? Jane. Because it stores the food for the zygote to live on. Yes, good. Now, why does the male gamete always have a tail? Matthew. So it can swim to the female and fuse with it. Yes, right. Now then, who can tell me what happens next? Please, miss. Yes, Matthew. How do people who only have one sex manage to reproduce? Well, we all only have one sex. What do you mean? No. What I meant was one kind of person. All alike. Not different like men and women. <laughs> You mean asexual reproduction. You should know that, Matthew. We've already done asexual reproduction. It only occurs in plants, not in animals, and certainly not in people. Sometimes it does. <laughs> well, that's nonsense, Matthew, and you know it is, don't you? No, Miss Blade. What do you mean, no? It isn't nonsense, Miss Blade, because I know somebody like that. What do you mean? Nothing, Miss Blade. Nothing. <laughs> 